right. I think we're recording. What am I doing here today? Well, I've got my car out and I've got my camera out. And what we're going to be doing is looking just how much distortion there is on a 360 camera. So, what have I got set up? I've got set up my Sony FX30. It's a crop sensor camera. And I've also got it attached to an 18 to 105 millimeter lens. Now, um, the real view, and this is uh, pretty well known within photography circles, is if you've got a crop sensor camera, approximately 35 millimeters, is approximately what we see realistically. So I've got the camera set up at exactly 35 millimeters. And I am just gonna try and just show this as well, just to show people, here we go. I can move this little toggle and we can go 35, there you go. So we're exactly set at 35 millimeters. So what you're seeing on this main camera body now is approximately how my eyes perceive it. And what we're going to do today, we're going to be looking at the difference between that and the 360 camera. Now, it is quite significant. Um, I've been very critical of certain people online using a 360 camera and how it distorts image. And people really don't get this. It distorts not only distance. You can probably see the difference between um, what the 360 is showing and what the uh, real eye would see. You can see that's obviously distorted, but how is it distorted width-wise? And that's really what I would like to have a little look today. Um, I've got the camera set up, as you can see, exactly on this central line. So the lens of my Sony camera is spot on the line. But as you can see, the 360 is slightly offset. The lens is to this left hand side so it's not going to be exactly plumb but it's near enough so we're set up on this line and with where I've positioned my car we can work out some distances now we're doing this from the perspective of if I was a cyclist if I was cycling where and how far away should people should people be now I've been doing a little bit of measuring as well I'm just going to put my uh, phone in my back pocket a second. I've been doing a little bit of measuring and we're obviously um, where the line is, no problems. And if my bike was here, don't forget my handlebars are going to be stuck out a little bit further than this line. And people do need to be one and a half meters from the outside point of the cyclist. So um, my handlebars are 760. So we've got 38 centimeters there we go so that's approximately where my uh my handlebars would be i'm not even sure whether you could see that on the uh on the main sony camera so i'm going to put this over here so 38 centimeters is approximately where my handlebars would start and then i've got another 1.5 meters which takes us to the outside edge of my wheel so if you were cycling there the cars should be passing no closer than approximately where the front of my toes are how different does that look when you switch between the cameras it's quite interesting now let's have a little look at some distances here exactly on line with where my front tire would be well we should be in secondary position approximately 50 centimeters from the curb but don't forget we've also got my handlebars so this is approximately where the curb would be does that look different from the main camera compared to the 360 well i'm suspecting it's going to look quite different but I haven't seen this yet. So I think it's time to go home and have a little look at this footage in a little more detail. 
Now I'm back home looking over the footage, there's only a couple of further points that I'd actually like to make. And this is the first one. Notice when I zoom in how the distances are all distorted further. My camera seems to shrink in relation to the spaces. And those bays, even though they are 2.3 meters wide, don't look anywhere near that. But as I zoom out again, there's a further point on this I'd like to explain. Directly underneath the 360 camera, the distances on the tarmac are greatest. The more you move to the sides, the less they are. Let me explain further. Remember, each one of these bays is 2.3 meters wide. So this one's 2.3, and so is this one, and so is this one, and so is this one. But all the areas look really different, and that's why it's really difficult to judge distance from these 360 cameras. And taking that even further, it's even more difficult when zooms are used. Watch how I zoom into this line on the right hand side. Doesn't the area that's actually at least 1.5 meters away from the cyclist look really close now? So don't be fooled by these selective zooms in just to fit the person's narrative. And the last thing I'd like to cover is something I've already done so many times. Have a look at the difference in perception of speed from the dash cam in the top footage to the real view in the bottom. The incorrect perception of speed from 360 cameras is even more. And what this actually means is that traffic traveling towards you is much slower than it looks, but they are a lot, lot closer than they appear also. Thanks for watching everyone, keep safe, and I'll see you soon.